In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to set up your employer details. On the Open Employer screen, simply click the option to create new employer. Before getting started, Brightpay will need a few details about the employer, for example its name, address and employer registration details. Click Next to continue. On this screen, you are asked how you would like to use Brightpay. Once you've selected the option most relevant to your company, click Next to continue. Enter your employer name and address, followed by your employer registration details on the next screen. For RTI reporting purposes, a valid employer POAE reference and your account's office reference number are required. If you qualify for small employers relief, tick the box provided. Also select the applicable tax accounting method for any company benefits, if applicable. Should you wish to organise your employees into departments, simply enter the departmental names you require in this screen. These departments can subsequently be used in your payroll processing and analysis. More departments can be added at a later date if needed. Alternatively, if you wish to skip this step, simply click on Next. On the next screen, you are now asked about your typical employee. These settings will be used as the default when adding a new employee but can be changed on an individual basis if required. Select the settings you would like as defaults and click Next when ready. UK employers must automatically enrol their staff into a workplace pension if they meet certain criteria. Your staging date is when your automatic enrolment duties first come into force. Enter your staging date if known. If you are unsure of your staging date or wish to check it, Click Connect to the Pensions Regulator to retrieve my staging date. If you are exempt from automatic enrolment, for example you are a single director company or you have ceased trading etc. and you have not already informed the Pensions Regulator of this, this can also be done here. Alternatively, you may wish to complete this section at a later date. To protect your payroll information, you may optionally set a password. On setting a password of your choice, this will then be required to open the employer data file in future. Click Save and Finish on completion of this screen. The final step is to choose a location to save your employer file to. Employer files should always be kept away from the Brightpay installation folder, for example by saving them to a separate folder created on your local C drive. Multiple users of Brightpay who wish to share employer files across a server or network should ensure that this folder is created in a central location so that employer files can be saved here for shared access. The software itself, however, must be installed and run locally on each individual user PC. When ready, click on Save. Your employer details have now been added.